Happy Valentine. Mm -hmm. Hi people! Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel. And if you are here for the first time, I'm Favor Napoleon. As you can see, I'm wearing love. I was told this is the color of love and I'm <laughs> and I'm wearing it. Well, it's Valentine. This episode is going to be coming probably on Valentine Day or two days after Valentine because I usually upload videos every Tuesday and my computer is full feed up right now. So I have to remove what the episode I haven't edited to be able to edit this particular one. So it all depends on how fast I can edit. So if I edit it faster, you will get this on Valentine's Day. But if something else comes up, you probably will be seeing it on Tuesday. But let's see how it goes. So welcome back to my channel. You know, when I see people, specialists or professionals, when they talk about relationship, relationship experts, sorry, when they talk about relationship most of the time, I just get, will I say shy, you know? I remember last year, I did, I did two episodes during Valentine. I did one for married, for couples, uh, married people, then I did another one for singles. And when I was watching that episode, all through those episodes, especially the part I was talking about sex, I just did like this. <laughs> I said, Faith, I can't really believe you are the one saying all this. So, but today I'm going to try as much as possible not to talk about the sexy part, the sex part too much so that I can hit my point. You can relate to what I'm going to talk about to your business, to whatever, to whatever things you do. I'm going to be talking about strategies and method. What is your strategy? What is your method? What are you, what are the methods you are putting in place? It's just like, when you see someone's relationship now boomy, you see a loving family, they are they are in peace, no much quarrel, everything is just going away. And oh, you say, God, I want my family to be like this. Do you know what the strategy those couples are using? Do you know the strategy the man and the woman are using? Then you want to copy and paste. Good. For example, now you have Mr. John. Mr. John's wife might be cooking, um, giving him tea, spaghetti at no pando yam in the evening. Can you be able to do that? And even if you do that, do you know if your own spouse, if that's, that's what works for your spouse? You know, there are some people, what makes them happy in their relationship? Maybe sex. What makes their relationship boom, for instance? They might, a man and a woman might just like the sexual part of their life. And they have sex like, maybe in a week, they have sex like 10 to 15 times. And that's what keeps their relationship booming. And when you see them outwardly, you say, oh, I want my relationship to be like this. Can you be able to do that to your spouse? To be, can you be able to do that in your marriage? Do that 15 times every week. But let's, let's bring it to a note. And even if it's not weekly, for instance, the relationship, do you know if that's what makes your spouse happy? Do you know if sex is the most important thing to your spouse? Some people will say, oh, the way to a man's heart is food. The person that you might be married to might not like food. He might not even be a food person. He might even be someone that who is so conscious of his weight, he doesn't eat fatty food. Do you know if what... Mr. Um, I've used John too much. <laughs> Do you know if what Mr. Um, if what Mr. Solomon might be using on Mr. Jackson? In, you don't know the strategy. So in relationship, in business, I always tell people, do what works for you. So it's Valentine's season. We were told that February 14 was specifically chosen to celebrate lovers, to share gifts, couples, relationship. It's just for lovers. And you know, marriage is like a free land, a free farm land, a free farm land. When you get into marriage, it's what you plant on it that you eat. <laughs> Whatever you plant on it, that is what you eat. If you plant plantain, it is what you will eat. But what you need to find out is, though your spouse like plantain that you want to plant. 
Does your spouse or the person you're in a relationship with like corn that you want to plant? Does your spouse that you're in a relationship with likes rice? So whatever you plant on this, two of you have to eat it together. So it depends on what you plant. And you have to find out what that other person's what other person's uh, plant uh, wants that you can plant. Then another question, what if the person wants rice and I don't want rice? So that's where the balance comes in. That's where the balancing comes in. So in marriage, you have to plant it together, agree together, plant it together, and know how you will eat it. Maybe probably your, your spouse likes uh, plantain, for example. What are you going to use to eat the plantain? So maybe it's what you like. Then that's where the balancing comes in. So that's how it works. So it's a free love. Whatever you plant in your marriage is what, it's what, that is the strategy. That is the strategy. What method and strategy are you using in your marriage, in your relationship? I always tell people, love your spouse or the person you're in relationship with the way they want to be loved. You know, okay, I already told you before that I did two episodes as regards this. One was PhD in sex and the other one was sex is important. I, you check it out. I'll put it on the description box so that you can check out those two videos. Those, I did those videos last year during Valentine. Yeah, I think I did it March, January, um, February, March, there about. So I did it during Valentine. So love your spouse, love your fiance or your fiancé the way they want to be loved. So know what works for them. Don't, it's just like, okay, it's just like er, most people sell hair. If I'm going to sell my own hair, if everybody sells it and I just come up and say, oh, I'm going to be selling this, um, I'm going to start selling human hair, or I want to start selling this shirt, what method am I going to use to sell it? If I sell it the way other people might sell it, it might not work for me because other people are already using that same method and that same style. I have to come up with my own technique. When I, I did a video on when uh, I did a video preparing for my daughter's birthday, we went to a particular shop. Myself and my husband, check, you can also check it out. I'll put it in the, so many referrals today. I'll be putting it in the description too. We went to a shop to shop for my daughter's birthday um, dress. We got there while we were leaving. We were given some cards. Some tickets they gave us, they told us that this ticket we have to come back and shop with them for free. Because they gave us tickets for everything we bought. If we bought a pants, they gave us tickets for it. If we bought a shirt, they gave us tickets for it. Everything we bought, they gave us tickets for it. They told us that we can come back, but within a period of time, within I think a month or two, we have to come back to shop with those tickets. And when we were going, I was telling him, I said, man, this is strategy. They want, you to, they want us to come back. But is it every shop you go to that they will give you such ticket or card? No, that is their own strategy. And we kept checking that. We, we hope it has not expired so that we will go when we didn't even have any intention of buying anything else. And in such case, when you go back to such shop, you might not just only use the ticket. You will want to buy more. So know your strategy. Everybody is doing the same thing you might be doing. Everybody is baking cake. What is your strategy? What is your method? What are you using? Love your spouse the way they want to be loved. There are some men, you know, there are some ladies that there are some specific things they need in a man. There are some specific things they enjoy in a man. Love your spouse. Know those things knows those things your spouse wants that he enjoys and do that the same thing goes for the men just like some women they don't want to honor their husband they want to rub shoulders with their husband they don't want to um, um respect their man but the truth of the matter is that one secret you should know is that when you battle a king you give him the you give him the responsibility to take care of you when you actually respect that man, you are, you, are, you are giving him the responsibility. Oh, you are the king. You are to take care of me. And he will love you naturally. So method are the way things are done. This is the specific way things are supposed to be done. But strategy is what you decide to do. 
What are you doing to make your own relationship happen, to make your own marriage happen, to make it work? So you have to find, I cannot use the same strategy Mr. Martins is using for my own, for, for my own business or for my own marriage or for my own relationship. Why? Because the people involved are of different personality. The people involved in this relationship are different. So I cannot use, I cannot use another person's method or strategy for myself because the people involved are different. So you have to know what works for you. That's what I keep saying. Always know what works for you in everything. I can't do it the way the other person is doing it. I can only get inspired by another person's relationship. I can only get inspired by another person's marriage. I can only get inspired. Why am I looking this way? <laughs> I can only get inspired by another person's business. But I cannot do the, I, I can I can sell the same thing they are selling. I can do the same thing they are doing. It might not work for me. So what I do is that I find out my own method. I find out my own strategy. You try to understand the personality of the person you are in relationship with. You might date, you might date five men in your relationship. Maybe you might, you might, you might have dated five men. Do you know if those five men, if they are to give accounts of you, they will give different accounts of you. Why? Because what they are looking at for is different. What they are looking out for from you is different. One might be interested, oh, let me know how she, how she can handle me in bed. The other one might be interested in how, um, how good does she cook. The other one might be interested in, oh, what does she really have inside her? What are those qualities? Do you understand? The only other ones might be interested in your spiritual life. So people are different. They go out for different things. So what you will do is that you will try and understand the personality of the person you are in relationship with and know what works for you. The same thing in business. What, whatever you are selling, you look at the feed. What do they really want? What can make my own water that I'm selling different? What can make my own bread special that everybody wants to come for the bread? I remember those days that I was still in uni. There's a particular place I eat. The day that, um, sure, maybe probably we have an exam or I'm spending longer time in school, I have to patronize that shop. The day that woman doesn't come, I don't eat food. I just take snacks. Even if I have an exam in the morning and I have to stay for school for another four to five hours in the evening, I stay there. That's why you should know your own strategy and your own method. What method are you using? What strategy are you using in your life? In everything that you are doing, find your strategy. Find what works for you and do it. Don't be in the general no. Don't say, I want to do Mr. Jane style. Mr. Jane style, you don't know what is happening there inside that relationship. So get inspired by what you are seeing outwardly. Then study the person you are in a relationship with. Understand the person and know what works for you. And the most important thing during this Valentine, love your spouse, love your fiance or fiancé the way they want to be loved. Don't just love. You can add your own. You can add your own style and you're okay. But love them particularly the way they want to be loved. There are some women. Sex is not the ultimate. They might just want some touching, and that's what makes them feel good before you get to the main thing. But when you want to go and do the main thing first, they might not like it. So you find out what they really want and do it. The same go for men. Why am I just talking about sex, 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 sex? <laughs> It's Valentine. It's Valentine for sex. That is not what they said. They said it's Lover's Day. It means it's a time to share gifts. It's a time to share love. It's a time to do all these things. But sex and love, are they connected? We'll discuss that in another episode. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you had a nice time. Hope you had a beautiful time. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Promise me you're going to stay happy and see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you had a nice time. I hope you enjoyed your Valentine or you are enjoying your Valentine. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. See you on Tuesday. Ah, it's Valentine. Hmm? It's Valentine. Baby, are you on phone?